So you want to learn how to shoot the most cinematic sequences with the most beautiful drone shots and 4K videos. Well, I'm going to show you my tips and tricks on how you film that cinematic sequence that you have always wanted to shoot. It's 2017 now and everyone's cinematic shots or in sequences are starting to look the damn same. You all have the same zoom in and zoom out transitions, the flippy turning of the screen, the 4K drone shots with the DJI Phantom. But that defeats the whole purpose of having a cinematic shot. Everyone's cinematic shots look the same. So forget about your Adobe Premiere Pro, forget about your Final Cut, forget about the LUTs, forget about, you know, any programs or fancy effects and Lumetri and all that adjustment layers and tools. Here are my three core foundations on what you need to consider to film that cinematic shot that you want to film. So the first key foundation of filming any cinematic shot is composition, because composition is a large portion of what you're actually seeing. So this includes the things of the rule of thirds, whether or not your subject is in the third cross of the screen, this half or that third, or sometimes, whether that's a music video or some kind of short film, you can have your character straight dead in the middle for a more cinematic look. You also need to consider the headspace above the camera. Well, what I'm trying to say here is you see here, the space between here and here greatly affects how the viewer watches the video, seeing that if there's too much headroom or too little headroom, it might feel like your character is a little stuck or a little claustrophobic. But some directors have their own styles, but for me, I like the subject to feel at least have a little headroom, but not too much headroom where it looks like their entire shoulders are cut off. So that is all about composition. So you need to practice getting that right composition for that right shot. And this also carries into photography as well. The second key foundation when it comes to filming cinematic shots is movement. And this is especially true when it comes to camera. It doesn't matter if it's a cinematic view or a very, very view with like mountains and you have that skyline. The whole point of video is to capture movement because if you have a still video, you might as well just take a picture. So when it comes to filming anything like time lapses or filming any kind of like sequences, make sure there's some sort of movement, whether that's it's the cars going by in traffic, whether that's people walking across the street, or whether it's your subject moving. Make sure there's some sort of movement and it's not just still and plain. And to have a more even dramatic cinematic effect, you have to consider things like speed wrapping, that is having things in slow motion and speeding it up back up, which catches the viewer's attention because it's a different timing which your brain isn't used to. So it's something to consider when filming videos. Movement. And the third key foundation when it comes to filming cinematic sequences or shots is variation. Because you don't want to see the same shots over and over or the same type of shots over and over. You want different types of shots. And if you want them in sequential order, you want to set up your character. So you want a wide angle shot. And then once you get to know that character, you have a more closer shot. Or if you're just shooting a random music video or you're just trying to test out the waters, make sure that you have very close up shots and very wide angle shots and some in the middle. Cause the brain thinks in patterns, right? And if you throw a shot that the brain doesn't expect, the viewer is more likely to watch the video longer rather than the brain is going to watch a video. It's like, okay, I know this shot is next, this shot is next. But if you throw in something that is completely still within, you know, the same subject, but it's a different type of shot, the brain goes, whoa, which is why people are starting to use drone shots now. And those are my three tips and foundations when it comes to filming anything cinematic looking. On top of that, it's all about practice, 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 and the same saying that story is everything. And you can tell stories with visuals, you can tell stories with voice, but your video has to have some kind of story. You can't just film beautiful shots with no real purpose. It has to have some kind of meaning, some kind of message that you're trying to say to the world or whoever you're trying to make this video for. And you can forget about, you know, the lumetries, all the technical stuff, you know, that comes later. But when it comes, you have to understand the core basics and foundations of 
videography, filming, filmmaking, storytelling, because that's what people who make videos, we're storytellers. And my name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary, and that's how I learned how to film my cinematic sequences. I'm not perfect, but I'm still trying to get there. I'll see you guys in the next one.